What is going on, everybody? Welcome to GGE Elimination Chamber live from Atlanta, Georgia. We are live in the Georgia Dome for, well, Elimination Chamber, a SmackDown Live exclusive. If you guys are going to be watching on YouTube, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video. Comment in the comment section below your thoughts on the pay-per-view and all that good stuff, man. We are in for a treat, baby. We are in for a treat. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Guys, is the in-game music screwing with the music that I'm playing? The theme song that you hear in the background, that's the theme song for Elimination Chamber. Let me know if it's, like, double audio for y'all. But what is going on, everybody? What is freaking going on? All right, good, good. Let's get it. I have no freaking idea what you're talking about, but whatever. Um... What's going on, Pepe? Pe? What's going on, everybody? What's up, Justin? What's up, Kobe? What's up, Kean? What is going on? Sorry for missing any of you guys' comments, but welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get it. What's going on, Venom? It's about to be freaking lit, baby. We are live with Elimination Chamber. Like I said, a SmackDown Live exclusive. If you guys want to see the full pay-per-view match card in your in its entirety, uh, make sure to type exclamation at GGE pay-per-view. Uh, or short, exclamation GGE PPV, of course short for pay-per-view, man. Let's get it. Let's freaking get it, boys. You're going to see returns. You're going to see some debuts. You're going to see all. And what I do know is, apparently, the new COO of GGE, Mr. McMahon, is in the building. wonder what that could mean. I hear something I can confirm now. I hear that after months of uh, inactivity in GG, months of uh, out of ring action, we're going to see the return of Mr. Kennedy. Uh, apparently, Mr. Kennedy is here uh, in Atlanta for Elimination Chamber. You're going to see it all today, boys. You are going to see it all today at Elimination Chamber, man. You are going to see it all today, indeed. Let's get it. Are y'all boys hype, man? Are y'all boys hype? Let me know if you're freaking hype, man. Stump that hype, man. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Let's freaking get it, dude. If you smell uh, what GGE is cooking, it is that elimination chamber time, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Our sub button is not set up yet. Let's freaking get it, boys. We are GGE, man. It is that GGE time. Let's get it. It's about to be freaking lit, man. It's about to be freaking lit, man. What a pay-per-view we have in store. Kicking us off, as you can see, it's going to be the Hype Bros invoking their SmackDown Tag Team Championship rematch clause against the Revival Tag Team Action. will kick us off. We also have, uh, I believe it's four, four elimination chamber matches here today as well, boys. It's going to be lit. You got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shaping Man, No Holds Barred, Stone Cold Steve Austin taking his ironclad contract and putting it to use. It's about to be freaking lit, boys. Why well, just have a triangle then? That's because he's donated bits. Donating bits is like donating money, basically. You watch ads, you get bits, you donate. Um, but we don't have a sub button yet. The sub button's coming. Twitch just hasn't added it to uh, Twitch affiliates yet. But that's how they got that. Um, by the way, guys, you like this new, like, well, it's not really a new setup. So I'm bringing it back. Um, do you just like the green screen in the back and just be sitting here instead of the little bar on the side and all that? Seems a little professional, I, I guess. I mean, the closest you can get. <laughs> pay, pay. If you check the pay-per-view card, you're in the Elimination Chamber match for the United States and the Hardcore Championship. Batista is in a chamber tonight. It's going great, Wink. It's going great, man. Just hype for this pay-per-view, boys. Are y'all hype, man? Are y'all freaking hype, dude? It's about to be freaking lit. It's about to be freaking lit, man. Elimination Chamber, SmackDown Live exclusive. We got a lot in store for you. A lot in store for you, indeed. But, of course... You already know, man. We cannot start. Oh, yeah. Ah, Brock Lesnar. Brock Le Lesnar. Nah. Are y'all freaking high, man? I, I, 
I don't think you have enough hype going down here for us to even start Elimination Chamber, dude. I don't, I don't think we have enough hype going, man. We got 20 of the GG Universe members here today, right now. But what we don't have is enough hype, man. Sorry if I missed any of you guys' comments, but welcome, man. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Greatest Family. The greatest Squad of Twitch TV, man. The official squad's family with that love, man. Represent the Greatest Squad, the Greatest Family on Twitch TV, man. We are GGE. Will we stay, Liddy? Let's get it, baby. We ain't gonna stop until we get on the top, man. Let's get it! Spim up that hype, man. Let's get started, man. You already know. You're gonna hit that comment meter right over there. It was... It usually was below me, but now we're looking in that direction. Right now, it's my opponent for tonight. The world's fattest. I mean, the world's strongest, man. Somebody gonna get the cheeks club. Hey, somebody gonna get the cheeks club. It's Mark Henry. His music playing. He'll be in action and Team Jenkins versus Team Henry match later tonight, man. But let's get it. Let's freaking get it, dog. Y'all gotta get that hype going, man. Get that 300, 300 comment meter right over there, baby. Hit that 300 comment meter. We're gonna start Elimination Chamber off right, dude. We are gonna start it off right. We got ourselves a little pyro show going, and then we got a little opening segment, and it's gonna be lit. Expert, you're Braun Strowman, right? Yes, Braun Strowman is, is in the WWE World Championship Elimination Chamber match. Hey, yo, Justin. You fruit bag. Y'all boys ready, though? It looks like y'all are ready. Yeah, It's that G-G-E time, baby. Let's get it. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> y'all ready? Let's get it. No. Here we go, man. Y'all boys got high for Elimination Chamber. It's going to be one heck of a show, boys. It's going to be one heck of a show. Let's get it. Soon enough, you'll be able to spam up those GGE emotes. It's going to be lit. Oh, I know what. Okay, a little better. How do we go? Is that how we go? Bro, Kian. Just awesome like that, dude. Let's get it! Yeah! Let's go, baby. Elimination Chamber time, baby. Let's get it. SmackDown Live exclusive. We are live in the Georgia Dome here in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's get it. For the elimination chamber. Folks, all the buildup is over, and here we are ready. Twitch affiliate. Chamber. Expert from Twitch affiliate. Let's get it. GGE. 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 Let's get it. This is going to be a night talked about for years to come. Unless your house is on fire, you better stay put for some great WWE action. First match is an elimination chamber for the ages. Tag team action on the way. We have team Zach Ryan. Let's freaking get it, baby. Let's get it. What's up, cops? You're welcome to the elimination chamber, my dude. And... As announced earlier, apparently, apparently Teddy Bias Jr. was attacked backstage by this, well, new guy known as Stardust, the other gimmick of, well, Cody Rhodes, and apparently his replacement, well, returning superstar Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett is not currently signed to any brand, but he is here tonight for Limited Chamber, and he is in that Chamber match. Then we saw Apollo Crews get taken out earlier by uh, The Miz, and, well, Big Show, and now Big Show's got himself in this match, so a lot of... A lot of uh, a lot of toss-ups here, a lot of toss-ups going down. But let's jump to it, man. Let's get into our opening segment. Elimination Chamber goes on the air to a sold-out Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. Cameras pan around the arena as Pyro shoots up from the stage with the GG Universe chanting, "We are GGE!" All throughout the crowd. Cameras pan then over to the stage area, where out comes the returning Mr. McMahon, the COO of GGE. Mr. McMahon does his signature walk down to the ring as the GG Universe is bowing down to the COO. 
Once in the ring, Mr. McMahon takes the microphone that GGE ring announcer Lillian Garcia hands him. And before Vince can speak, the GG Universe starts chanting, Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! Mr. McMahon then lifts his mic and says, Welcome to Elimination Chamber! Tonight, five of SmackDown Live's championships will be on the line inside the most destructive structure in GGE history. Then, my son, the SmackDown Live Director of Operations, Shane McMahon, goes one-on-one -on -one with Stone Cold Steve Austin. All I can say is, Stone Cold, you better beat the crap out of my son, or it's your job in my hands. Including GG Chairman Josh Jenkins taking on Mark Henry's team. As you can already tell, tonight's show is insanely stacked. However, announcing the matches is not the reason for my appearance here today. I'm here to announce that at the recent GGE meeting, we've all come to an agreement that Teddy Long's team has smacked down. General Manager may be coming to an end soon due to his age and lackluster ability to act professional and handle his talent well tonight may be the last night on the job for Teddy Long holla holla player also I'm here to introduce a lot of new talent coming to the blue brand let's just say it's time to shake things up around here Mr. McMahon drops his microphone and walks off leaving the GG universe with mixed emotions as Elimination Chamber prepares for its opening contest Wow! Mr. McMahon, the COO of GGE, laying it down on everybody here in Atlanta, saying, hey, this may be Teddy Long's last night on the job. And then he says, if Stone Cold doesn't beat Shane McMahon, it's his job in his hands. All right. What an opening uh, opening segment there for Elimination Chamber. Already shaking things up here as Mr. McMahon. And now it's time for your opening contest as the Hype Bros invoke their rematch clause. Take on the Revival for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The Hype Bros is one of the most popular, if not the most popular team in SmackDown Live history. As they take on you know, one of the newest additions to the SmackDown Live Tag Division. And of course, obviously, your new SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Revival. Hype Bros, Revival, kicking us off here at Elimination Chamber. Let's get it. It's the highly anticipated battle between these teams, and it's happening right here next. Finally, we have Team Zack Ryder against the Revival. I don't know who to thank for putting these two teams against each other, but let me just say thanks. Jerry Lawler, you don't know who to thank. Well, you think the SmackDown Live Commissioner, your SmackDown Live General Manager, and, of course, your SmackDown Live Director of Operations is putting such a great, phenomenal tag team match to kick us off here at Elimination Chamber as the Hype Bros and the Revival square off one more time. Well, with that being said, guys, let's head on down to the ring as the Hype Bros taking the Revival SmackDown Tag Team titles on the line. Let's get to it as GGE commentators, JBL, Jerry Lawler, and, of course, Michael Cole. Call all the action here as it unfolds. All right, Hype Bros Revival, let's get it, baby. Voting will be picking up very soon when our bot is fully uh, set up. I still got to set that all up. But we will be bringing back, vo back voting, OP, all that good stuff. Here we are. A totally redesigned Illumination Chamber Arena. Oh, they don't get hyped. They stay hyped. It's the Hype Bros, Mojo Raleigh and Zack Ryder. The challengers in this one's. There we go. Hype bros. You like the arena? Thank you very much. I think it's pretty lit as well. <laughs> pretty litty if I do say so myself. Y'all can still hear uh, some of the entrance music if I'm not mistaken. Let me know if, if you guys can. They are very hyped here tonight in the Georgia Dome as Mojo Riley and Zack Ryder. All right, cool, cool. Hype bros.
And of course, their opponents, they are your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder, The Revival. Thank you, Ken. For those just tuning in, we have four of WWE's greatest set for tag action. Yeah, this could be a legendary match. If the goal is to stay where it is, the champion is going to have to overcome an extremely motivated challenger here tonight. I think we're in for yet another classic match between the Revival and the Hype Bros. The last time they squared off at Backlash, it was a phenomenal contest between the two teams. And I think we're in for yet another one here tonight. You're rooting for the Hype Bros? Um, I got Revival retaining here tonight. I got Revival retaining. They're like, they're totally different from any other tag team we've seen here on SmackDown Live. They bring a new style to the table. It's like two Stone Cold Steve Austins in one team. It's, it's quite phenomenal. And I thanks for joining the saddles tonight. Or any saddles that is. They isolate your, your team. That's it, dude. Well, that's what they're fighting for right there, boy. Ooh. Oh, I'm used to being up there. But right there, your SmackDown Tag Team Championship's on the line. All the marbles up for grabs here today. Here's your challengers. At a combined weight of 489 pounds, Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley. One of the most beloved, the most beloved three. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 449 pounds, they are the Dash Wilder Smackdown Tag Team. Makes no sense, Lillian. That's so stupid when she says that junk. So much it's hard and glitch, dude. Comes down to this. It's right there, boys. All in the line. Here we go. Hype Bros. Rival. SmackDown Tag Titles on the line. Let's get and Dash Wilder starting us off here. Zack Ryder already coming out of the gate strong. And oh, oh, get down goes Dash Wilder. Mojo hyping up the crowd there. What's going on, Jacob? Welcome to Elimination Chamber. Chase asking, am I going to be watching Payback? I probably will be watching Payback. Um... However, I don't, I'm not expecting too much out of it, um, in all honesty. I, I feel like the Bray Randy match is going to be very good, very unique. Um, that's about it. Probably somehow Roman's going to defeat Braun Strowman. And, you know, Braun will dominate them the whole match. And all of a sudden, oh, Roman Reigns come out of nowhere, spear, Superman punch, and done. You know, I'm not expecting too much out of it. Um, I'm looking forward to the Hardys matches. I'm just a huge Hardy Boys fan, so any match that they're in, I'm... They could be fighting uh, <laughs> James Ellsworth and Gilbert for all I care. I'm still going to be into the match. Um, yes, payback is today. I'll probably just be editing and working on GGE-related stuff as the pay-per-view is on. I'll be listening to it, but not really going to expect too much out of it. However, they could be making a great pay-per-view for all we know, but uh, not really expecting much out of it. It needs to be good. It's the you know the first pay per view after WrestleMania, but if if uh, last year has anything to do with it, then it won't be that great because you know obviously last year what well, wasn't the Extreme Rules after Mania, I believe. Yeah, um, Extreme Rules was boring as could be. Well, besides the uh, Seth Rollins return last year, but otherwise than that, uh, not not too great. So uh, we'll see. Well, if Hardy debuts, you know, if they debut the Broken Gimmick, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I don't think Jeff Hardy should be broken. Matt Hardy, yes, but uh, Jeff Hardy, not so much. Matt Hardy pulls it off better than Jeff does. Jeff Hardy, and WWE Jeff Hardy can pull off that big baby face, that charismatic Enigma gimmick. He can pull it off great. Uh, Matt Hardy, I mean, there's not really a point to make Jeff Hardy broken, honestly. I mean, why can't he be normal? Matt's broken, you know? Makes sense. 
Great balls of fire. Good God. What a pay-per-view name. I don't know if you guys are just tuning in. Oh, hey, Mojo, get it. Nah, nah, get it, Mojo. Ah. <laughs> Mojo's always fun to uh, watch in the ring. If you're just tuning in, you're watching the Hype Bros versus the Revival. They kick us off here at Elimination Chamber. The SmackDown Tag Team Championships are indeed on the line. Probably, probably uh, T double B. Osterman will split them up and have Jeff be main event push and Matt go full broken. If they did that, they probably should be on a different brand, so they probably wouldn't do that until the draft, which will be in the summer. Yeah, the draft is around SummerSlam, so it's like a little bit before it, like months or so before it. No! Now Mojo, what a knee there to Scott Dawson. And Mojo axe handle. Mojo's look, he's looking phenomenal here on SmackDown Live, man. He's, he's great. He's great, I can't lie. Uh, hopefully Zack Ryder can get up to that level, but man, right now Mojo, not only one of the most entertaining superstars on SmackDown Live, but uh, one of the more impressive. He's really making a name for himself. And we saw a tweet. We saw a tweet last night from Raw uh, to Mojo. Raleigh says, uh, you're making a name for yourself, aren't you, kid? We'll be in touch after Elimination Chamber. What could that mean? Uh-oh, Mojo hyping things up here. No, oh my. Wait, no. No, Scott Dustin, that's reversal. Oh, it's your boy. Okay, that's... All right, got you. Uh, by your name, Chase? Got you, got you. All right. Would you have to be a singles competitor, but it, I don't want Matt to be known as Jeff's brother like before Matt was broken and then Jeff got the... Yeah. I understand that. Yeah, so they should definitely be... I think they should probably be split up. Them being on different brands helps them a lot better. It's not like, you know, one of them won't fall into just the other Hardy Boy, you know? Oh! Scott Dawson, after raking Mojo's eyes, takes him down by the leg. That'll definitely help up for his finishing maneuver. Uh, not oh, taking him down by the leg once again. I believe he has a figure four as his uh, finishing maneuver, if I'm not mistaken. But we know what he's going to be looking for, and I think we're about to see it here, guys. Are we in for the Shatter Machine? It looks like we are. Can he connect? No oh, Shatter Machine. Good night, hype bros. One. Wait, no. What? One, two. Oh, wow. Scott Dawson inadvertently suplexed Zack Ryder on top of the pin, breaking the pin up. That was going to be it. That was going to be it for the hype bros. But Zack Ryder broke the pin up after getting suplexed by Scott Dawson. Inadvertently was Scott Dawson suplexing Zack Ryder. Didn't even realize it was going to be on that pin. That would have been it for the hype bros, though. That would have been it for the hype bros. And now, are we in for another Shatter Machine? Oh, no, we are not. Oh, uh, we've seen this in the past as well. We saw that backlash. No! It's like that assisted pile driver from the top rope. Mojo Raleigh is out cold right now. Scott Dawson is not going for the pin. No! Revival looking to cause further damage, I guess that is. And now Scott Dawson just isolating Mojo, not letting him get that pin with Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder's more of the fresh uh, fresh participant here, the hype bros. And now maybe this is Mojo's opportunity. But Mojo not looking to make the tag. And now, what's this? Oh, big back suplex. What's going on, Rocky? Welcome to Elimination Chamber, a SmackDown Live exclusive. And now here comes Zack Ryder in the match. Mojo will get a chance to take a breather there. He's done a lot of work. Good good job, Mojo, in this tag team match. And oh, down goes Zack Ryder. What do you think Zack Ryder needs to do now? You think Bliss is going to win the title because of Sasha? Yeah, I feel like we're going to see a Sasha heel turn. Down. I know what a senton from Zack Ryder. Sasha's heel turn is kind of long overdue as it is. So. One, 
two and no oh, kick out there by Scott Dawson. Big kick to the back of the neck from Zach Ryder to Scott Dawson. And now, what's Ryder looking for? Oh, right to the spine. That'll do damage in the long run. Into the corner goes Scott Dawson. Uh oh, we know what's coming next. Woo, woo, woo. You know it, baby. Broski boots. Knocking Scott Dawson out cold there. That could be it. Is this enough for the Hype Bros to retain? Zack Ryder to make a name for himself finally. One, two, and no. It's Dash Wilder breaking it up, but down goes the ref. Scott Dawson, or sorry, Dash Wilder inadvertently taking out the ref. And now Zack Ryder is going to look to capitalize, but the ref is down. He won't be able to go for the pin. And it's Rough Ryder. The ref is down. He can't go for the pin. Ryder now top rope. No, oh, no, what a senton. The ref is finally up. Is this it? One, two, but no, Dash Wilder once again breaking things up. This time the ref was not taken down. By the way, guys, our website is fully updated. Just the history page we're going to do some editing on, but everything else is completely up to date, man. Check it out, Mons. Please do drop our uh, website link for everybody to check it out. Roster pages, all that good stuff. Trending news, etc. Power rankings, all that good stuff. Uh, that's all updated. Our free agents list is all updated. Everything is completely updated for the most part. Just some end game stuff I still got to do. But otherwise than that, man, we're looking good. We're looking good to go, dude. It's Liddy. Yeah, probably something that's going to be taped tonight. Now, Mojo. Or is he bringing Scott Dawson? I don't even think Mojo knows, but oh. Irish whip into the corner. Uh-oh. Is this what... Are they looking for... Nope, never mind. Axe handle drop right to the arm of Scott Dawson. I thought they are looking for the hype rider. Uh-oh. The sleeper hold. But no, Zack Ryder. Taking Dawson out by the jaw. And now Scott Dawson, Irish whips, or sorry, that, I can't even talk right now. Zach Ryder, Irish whips Scott Dawson in the corner. And now, oh, tornado DDT from Ryder to Dawson. Great opening contest here. And now, Ryder once again sent on. Ryder's looking quite impressive here. He knows that Mojo is the bigger name in the tag team. He's looking to change that here tonight, and right now he's doing so. Looking very impressive, but oh, just when I say that, Scott Dawson takes down Zack Ryder. Bro, if, if Matt Hardy, yo, it'll just be so that if Matt Hardy was part of the Broken, uh, or the House of Horrors, whatever it's called. Thank you, uh, thank you, Chase. Um... Yeah, if you guys are on a tablet or a PC, it's going to look best. If you're on mobile, it's going to be really uh, scrambled. It's I don't, just how it is with mobile. I don't know why. But if you're on tablet or PC, it's going to look phenomenal. And uh oh, oh, snake eyes there. That old school wrestling. That's what I love about the revival. They bring that old school uh, technical wrestling to the, uh, to the ring. And uh oh, working on the leg of Zack Ryder. That'll set, up, uh, set it up good for their finishing maneuver. Well, his fin finishing maneuver, that is. And now, Dash Wilder elbow drop right to the knee of Ryder. He's working on that leg. Yes, Kobe, he's been in the match multiple times. Uh-oh. Dash Wilder. No, oh, backbreaker. Is this hit enough for the Revival to retain? Mojo seems pretty confident. He's not even going to break things up. And there we go. Ryder does kick out. Mojo was correct on being confident in that one. It's the Revival's match to win here if they keep this up. Uh-oh. Dash Wilder now. What's Wilder looking for? Oh. Looking for some sort of knee. Oh. Whoa. What? That was a code breaker. 
They're trying to channel right here, but that might be it. One, two, and no, Zach Grant are somehow able to kick out. How much damage did that do? A lot from the rest of I think it might be sitting into the minds of the rivals of what do we got to do to put away the high bros right now. Nothing's able to work. We've seen the Shatter Machine. We've seen a Code Breaker. We've seen it all here. And now spinning a Neck Breaker there. Spinning Sit Out Neck Breaker. Shatter Machine without the Flapjack. Yeah, that is true. Oh, man. Dash Water. Big punches to Ryder's face. Trying to open him up there. But not able to do so. And now Ryder. Ryder with some offense in. But no, once again, Dashwater throws uh, Zach Ryder right into the corner. Isolating his opponent. That's what the Revival are all about. Isolating their opponent. Keep it away from their tag team partner. I say they've won so many matches here in GGE from NXT to SmackDown Live now. And uh oh. Oh, what a back superplex. That had to do damage on both Dashwater and Ryder. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. All right, sounds good, Chase. Sounds good. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. The Revival are feeling very confident, and that they should. They're doing a phenomenal job here against the Hype Bros. They beat them before. They're looking to do it once again. If you missed Backlash, that's where the Revival and the Hype Bros reverie all started. Uh, excuse me, the Revival. Revival uh, able to defeat Hype Bros at Backlash and uh, walk away your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and that's what's led us up to this point here. So we've seen the Revival have great matches in the past, such as uh, their big uh, match series with the uh, DIY. DIY, of course, part of Raw. Now, Revival thinks they have it here. One. Oh, down goes Mojo. Two. And no, Zack Ryder able to kick out. That was a very close one. Look at this. No, you cannot have my chicken sandwich. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Expanding the repertoire with that move. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. He's in full. Bro, this is a revival's match to win right now. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Zack Ryder. No. Ryder coming out of nowhere with the offense. Great balls of fire in June. Oh boy, don't remind me of that name. A very competitive back and forth match indeed. Indeed it is. Ryder finally getting the offense in here. I think he needs to make a tag to Mojo. And oh, what a knee drop. Oh, the Dash Wilder has been busted open. Blood all over his forehead. Two of the best, if, if not the best, uh, we've seen in a, quite a long time here for the SmackDown Tag Division, man. Great. Two great tag teams. And uh-oh. Now Zack Ryder. Irish whips Dash into the corner. This is his opening. Here comes Mojo. Is this? We've been waiting for it. Here it is. Hype Rider. Oh, man. Hype Bros. Two-time champs. Two. For what? Dashwater kicks out. Dashwater kicks out. Oh, man. Hype Bros were a second away, literally a second away from becoming two-time SmackDown Tag Team Champions. But no Dashwater finding it deep within him to kick out. Uh-oh, but this could be it. Mojo knows how to put a match away. Can he connect here? He looked for it earlier, but no. Just like Scott Dawson, it's Dashwater with the reversal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And now the code breaker. That's going to have to be it there. One, two, three. The Revival retain here at Elimination Chamber. The Revival put away the hype bros. What a tag team contest. 
phenomenal tag team contest, man. I thought they were going to do it. I had my vote picked on the Revival, and they are able to put away the Hype Bros. Phenomenal tag match. Phenomenal. No pun intended. Great tag team match, man. That was awesome. A Shatter Machine wasn't even able to do it, though. But right there, out of nowhere, Dash Wilder with the knees to the face, and that did it. Mojo wasn't kicking out. Zack Ryder wasn't able to break up the pin. Perhaps maybe he thought Mojo was able to kick out, but no. Well, it looks like he was distracted from that replay. Distracted by the crowd, maybe. That'll bring the Revival to three victories, zero losses here, man. They are undefeated as a tag team since coming to the main roster. Bro, who on the SmackDown tag division is going to stop the Revival, dude? They are on a tear, bro. Tearing through this division like it's nothing. Alright, guys, as the Revival celebrates the retaining of the SmackDown tag team belts, we're going to move on with the rest of Elimination Chamber. What up, guys? What's this? After the match, the Revival take out the Hype Bros with steel chairs. They brutally assault both Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley, and then throw Ryder out of the ring. Dash Ryder slides Mojo's leg in between a steel chair, as Scott Dawson yells out, Let's see how much these people love you when you're sitting in a hospital bed. Dash holds Mojo down under the chair as Scott goes to the top rope looking to break Mojo Raleigh's leg when all of a sudden Enzo Amore and Big Cass's music hits and out comes the new SmackDown Live duo to the ring chasing the revival off. Enzo Amore grabs the microphone and says, What do we got here, huh? A couple haters? A couple haters? Well, looks like Crocodile Dundee and Lumberjack Man over here his days as the top guys of the SmackDown Live Tag Division is over. Hit him with him, Cass. Big Cass grabs the microphone and says, Revival, there's only one word that describes you, and I'm going to spell it out for you. S-A-W-F-T, soft. The GG Universe starts chanting Enzo and Cass as the Revival look on furious as the Elimination Chamber... Heads to promotional ads. Well, Enzo Mori and Big Cass looks like they're SmackDown Live's newest tag team, and they're looking to make a name for themselves going right after the top guys in the SmackDown tag division. The Revival. So Enzo and Cass looks like they want a piece of those SmackDown tag team championships. We'll see if they get it. In the future, but coming up next, guys, the monster among men, Braun Strowman. He's looking to get a microphone in hand. Braun with the mic. Oh boy, let's see how this one goes. He'll, of course, be involved in the WWE World Championship Elimination Chamber match later on today. But a great opening contest for Elimination Chamber. The Revival retain against the Hype Bros. And afterwards, Enzo and Cass making their presence known on the SmackDown Live roster.